Hey everyone, welcome back to Neshkin Video Game Theory. I want to talk to you guys about something major today. It is something that you guys need to talk about, and it's definitely graphics and how they've evolved over this generation. Over this generation, we've seen some absolute improvements when it comes to graphics. And I think the main big jump is that 4K resolution has started to take off. And with 4K resolution, that brought on an entirely new thing. 4K resolution pushed the limits of what we thought was possible at that time period. What do I mean by that? Well, what it did is it forced the PS4 Pro to come out and Xbox X. And that really was one of the reasons why those systems came out. Because the previous Xbox One, PS4, just was not able to keep up with graphic fidelity. Over this generation, the past one where we saw the PS4 transition into the PS4 Pro, we saw these changes occur, slowly but surely. Now, what we're getting into the PS5, Xbox Series, X generation, Xbox Series S, we are getting more lighting effects, CPCU intensive type graphics. And I think the big thing in the past was tessellation. Many people may not remember that. That's where a lot of auto-generated textures would occur. And that was like 10 years ago. Well, nowadays what we're seeing is ray tracing, which is a more focus on the lighting of the scenes and the reflections on the scenes. This is an interesting development because lighting hasn't been that big. Yes, it's been big to a certain extent because what we've seen in the past, we've seen bloom effects occur. Now, bloom effects were kind of that bloom lighting that kind of looked a little bit brighter than the rest and was a little bit nicer looking. And bloom effects kind of came along and transitioned in the Xbox 360 days. And you can kind of see the lighting in these pictures. And it looks kind of bland. And this is on, a, this is on the PS4 Pro. And we can kind of see how the lighting has transitioned further. Yeah, I said this looks kind of bland unless you get really close, and then you can kind of see where we're going to get the next generation. Now, let's take a look at Horizon Forbidden West, for instance, instead of Star Wars that came out on the PS4 Pro. And we're really going to get an understanding of where graphics have improved, just taking this from one portion to the next. You just see the lighting differences. You see that dynamic change. And the change is noticeable. You guys can see it right here, that ray tracing has really made a difference in the lighting. And then you also see the effects within the scene and there are more objects on the scene or more polygons is what they say on graphics cards. With the PS5, this looks amazing on the PS5 and I think this shows Horizon Forbidden West is really gonna show us what the PS5 is capable of, just like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order did, but we're gonna see even more and this is the perfect game because they're going to one of the things that horizon from west is doing they're giving you an underwater breathing device in this game that's going to let you explore the underwater and i can just see the amazing points where those graphics really take off at that point with the ray tracing and 4k resolution and this game is optimized for the ps5 and then it's also going to be on the ps4 but this is the difference guys this is highly optimized graphics. And I think a lot of times we get caught up with, oh, we gotta have the greatest graphics card, or oh, we gotta have the greatest CPCU. And the fact of the matter is we don't, because if your system's highly optimized from a graphical perspective, I think in the future, optimization is definitely going to trump anything else. And what do I mean by that? Because we see that we see Apple doing this in their game service. And yeah, I bring up Apple's game service for one reason is they have a highly optimized system. Their whole premise for the last 10 years is to be optimized. And that's how they've been able to push out some pretty good graphics on mobile games. Here, PlayStation, the more optimized you can get, the better off you're going to be. Here we have highly optimized graphics built literally for the PS5. And I think, look at this, the, the falling effects, the amount of polygons it takes to take down one of these creatures. I mean, this stuff would not have even been thought of five years ago, even before Horizon Zero West came out. But I, Horizon Zero Dawn came out, and now we have uh, Horizon Forbidden West coming out. So I think there's just a completely 
different dynamic. Look at the facial expressions. Look of, of what we're trying to see here. Now let's take a look at some Battlefield. This is coming out in the future too this year. And I want to just point out, guys, that the graphics of the future are going to be highly based upon CPCU intensive type graphical things such as effects and ray tracing and not just filters on the antistropic filters that we saw before. You're going to see those more type of particle effects and they may call it something else, but as we see the particle effects do make a difference and this doesn't look like real gameplay footage but it might be but in reality this is where we want to be at eventually this is what it's going to look like it's going to look like a pixar movie as the old mantra says and i know that sounds very cliche but that's the truth because you can kind of see the falling effects on the rocket engine for instance you can kind of see the fire and how it looks completely different than what you'd even see when ps4 originally launched. So as we can see, we're going to have a generation that is going to push the limits of lighting. And lighting is the key in this generation. I think that ray tracing and the reflections that you get from that and the reflections coming from every which direction, that's going to make an incredible difference. Now ray tracing was a technology that has been very GPU intensive that has not been possible. And I remember back in the day I tried out a uh, car thing and cars were kind of the ray tracing thing that's how they designed cars was ray tracing and then finally ray tracing made its way into gaming once the graphical power started to get there so it was kind of an engineering tool and now we're to the point where ray tracing is actually in video games and that's a huge leap trust me that is a huge leap graphically from just a CPCU. That's when you start hearing words like teraflops of CPCU power that we're hearing with the Xbox Series X and PS5. So a lot to look for when it comes to gaming graphics here in the future. I'll be interested to where we go. Are we gonna eventually have holograms? Are we gonna have AR? What is going to happen, guys? That's the question that we kind of have to ask ourselves as we go on to the future. What do you guys think? What do you guys think the things of the graphics will be of the future. I think that's worth definitely discussing. Just comment. And uh, as always, guys, please subscribe, like this video. That's how you can support this next generation gaming theory. Make sure to listen to the podcast. And guys, I will see you guys on the flip side.